my name is Fatima Sharafuddin. I come from Lebanon. Um, I'm a writer for children and young adults. Um, as uh, Max said, I lived in many countries and I uh, started um, uh, my uh, education about children's literature when my kids were small and I was living in the United States. And it was um, uh, a habit or uh, a ritual for us for every Wednesday to go to the local public library, choose 20 books, picture books, go home, read them for a week, come back, put them uh, back and take another 20 books. And I did that since my kids were children were born till they were able to read on their own, I stopped it. So for many, many years I did that without knowing that I was building a library in my, the back of my brain. <laughs> um, I, uh, my, it, my background is in education and educational theory, and I worked for long years in uh, preschools. My uh, specialization was early childhood education with focus on children's literature. So I worked a lot with children in schools in the United States um, until um, 1998, and then I uh, I also had a master's degree in Arabic, modern Arabic literature. So I decided to shift careers and teach Arabic at uh, university levels. So I was teaching Arabic language and culture classes, and uh, uh, okay. um, and at some point I moved to Belgium and I decided to dedicate all my time uh, to write for children. When I was growing up as a child, um, and many of you who are from Arab origin, you know that when we, my generation, were children, we did not have quality children's books. I mean, I read uh, lots of translations. Uh, there was a series of the Lady Bird series. Of, um, we read that. I read in French, Martin. Uh, we read the um, translations of uh, Hans Christian Andersen's books, and so it's well, all, all in translation, and most of the time they were bad translations. So we never had um, really good quality children's books, and all my life I, 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 I wanted to be in the field. I wanted to make a good book for children. Uh, and when my children were little, and I would go back to Lebanon to get some Arabic books for them. Sometimes I hid the books, I did not want them to see them because they, they were really, I mean, the language is, um, is very old-fashioned and it wasn't talking to the modern child of, the, of our, our times. Um, so when I had the chance to stop like a, a working, to stop having a job, daily job, I decided to fully dedicate myself to writing for children. And I've done, I, first time I published was in 2004. And uh, since I knew children's development, uh, developmental stages between three and six, that was my specialization, this is what I first started writing, pictures, books for children, three to six. And then I started with a new publisher, and she said, uh, we don't have baby books in Arabic. We, all, we only have translations, and the images, the graphics, they don't belong to our culture. That's do that. So I wrote some uh, baby books. And then um, I've been writing for seven years now and lately, I mean, <coughs> now there are lots of good writers of children's books in Arabic. I mean, the market has, in the last 10 or 15 years, really took off and publishers realized, oh, this is a great market to, 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 to invest. So we, they, <coughs> uh, picture books are I mean, it, it, it went from from uh, from not, no quality at all books to now in the year 2011. We have pretty much many publishers specialized in publishing for children uh, and translators who translate to Arabic very good quality uh, books for children. So, uh, but now the problem is the lack of uh, books for young adults in Arabic. We also have many, several translations, uh, I mean, mostly translations, but good quality uh, young adult books that talk to the child, to the young adult of this um, um, time, uh, are lacking in the Arabic um, language. 
So this is my mission now. I will uh, slow down on children's books, uh, on picture books, and I will invest uh, my time more into writing for young adults. Um, is that enough?